Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am sharing with you the brand new designer's choice for this month. This one is called Corsage and Carnation. And as always, all the information for you is going to be in the description box. So all the links to Tonic Studios and where you can find these amazing die sets. So if you're new to designer's choice, basically it's a die set designed each month, a brand new die set each month, only available from Tonic Studios. So you can only get it from there and they actually sell out really quick. So if you like something, I would definitely hop on and grab yourself a die set. Um, each month, like I said, it is a new design. They come in this fabulous designer's choice envelope in its own little pouch. Then you can put it in a Tonic Studios binder and then you have a die set, which is gorgeous. So let me just get some cards so I can put it. Oh, let me just get grab this for some magnet here. So you can see the design a bit clearly. Let's zoom in a bit. So this is called Corsage and Carnation. And from an overview, you can see how many dyes there are in this set. And straight away, you can see how decorative some of the elements are. I mean, this is really unusual. I've not seen a Verso die so intricate. This one's got triangles. This little circle here looks like oh my gosh they're like tiny like half ovals really really intricate so you can get very pretty detail cut out of your circles so you've got some decorative edge you've got some solid edge circles and then you've got some verso dies which means you can cut some decorative elements within your circles now this piece here is in a half that way if you want to create two designs you've got two um two designs here you just cut it um turn it and cut it the other way so if um die sets like this that tonic do it's really good value for money because you get almost two designs for the price of one if you like and then you've got more layers and um, there's a more decorative layer here some corners some flowers flourish and um, some leaf design in here um i believe this is another so look let me get this off here yeah it looks like a floral design so oh, it's actually carnation corsage and carnation so this is what it's called and then this is the design of the set so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut into some papers and create a couple of projects with you all so here i have my first card ready and prepped I've got my card base and this is a 7 inch square Tonic Studios um, card blank. They come with envelopes as well. And then my die pieces are here. So I've used my um, Craft Perfect and Tonic Studios um, mirror card and I've cut it out in this teal. I've taken one of the um, semicircle edges and cut it out twice onto this beautiful um, blue card. Again, this is all Tonic Studio card stock. So if you want to check out the website for their Craft Perfect range, um, I'll put the link below. And then I've taken all these um, circle dies. And again, these are all in the set. And I'm going to show you <clears throat> them here. So there's so many different um, outer layers I've cut this one out using this beautiful edge here, but you've got this one and this one as well. So you just pick and choose what you want. And obviously the color choice is going to be completely up to you. I've taken this um, decorative layer here, which is this one. And um, the leaf is a separate piece. And I decided I wanted um, one with the... Um, less design on because I want to put my sentiment in the center so this is actually um, a tonic studios sentiment die it's just a thank you die and I've had this for a while but I love going back and using my old dies as well with the new stuff so what I'm going to do I've got my corners here as well and you get <clears throat> excuse me a few different corners so I've used um and this section here with the stitch detailing and that floral design but you've also got this intricate almost like um a lotus flower design and then this corner here and then this 
a floral one here as well so you can choose whichever corner you want to go with your project so i've got all my bits and pieces here and another addition that i'm going to use with this card to match that blue i've picked out this crystal drop and this is in metallic navy blue so i'll be adding some of this as well so now i'm going to just assemble my card and you'll see how i do it
So on to my second card now, and this time I've got a tent full card, and this measures <clears throat> seven by five. So if you've got your seven by seven cards, you can just chop off two inches off the edge, and you'll be left with a seven by five card. So I'm doing a bit more of a shabby um, card style this time. So I've got some patterned paper, some floral patterned paper, and I've picked out a few of the colours. <clears throat> excuse me from my paper so i've got some craft perfect in this beautiful green this is actually one of my favorite green colors from tonic studios and i'm going to give you the name of it it's called in fact i don't even have um the name in front of me but i'll put it i'll put it in the description box it's the perfect green for like leaves and um like shabby greens if you know what i mean so i'll put the name of this in the description box if you're interested in this green it is my favorite green craft perfect card and then i've got my layers here so i've got some white card some pink um and white polka dot and then again i've done the same thing i've taken the edge and i've cut it twice i've got some more of the pink card here sorry green card here and the floral um design paper to go on top of that and for my corners this time i've taken the solid corner piece and cut it out and it's give this beautiful stitching detail there as you can see so i love that look just looks really really nice and cushioned if you can see what i mean and then for my sentiment for this one <clears throat> i'm using i'm so sorry and this is from this die set here and it's called i'm so sorry sentiment die set and there's as you can see quite a few different ones here so i'm using this piece here and there's actually two dies to create um this sentiment and then Another thing I want to use for this is I want to add a bit of colour. So I've taken my aquaflowers and they sit here and I've picked out three colours and um, a shimmer pen and this is some silver shimmer. So I've taken Sweet Pea. This one is a fern green. I believe this card is called fern green. Um, and then this is indigo indigo dawn so i'll be using these three colors watered down these are um, perfect for using with your watercolors and i've just spotted my card it's not fern green it's pistachio green there's this here beautiful beautiful tone of green so for my card i'll be using all these layers and my colored layer is going to be this bit here so i've taken this beautiful design of carnation I'm going to back it onto some white and add some colour and some sparkle using the glitter gloss. And this glitter gloss is the um, aqua shimmer. This is the silver tone. You can get this in gold as well. Okay, so I'm going to get this card put together. First thing I'm going to do is actually um, stick this together. So I've got a firm grip with the silver and the card. And then I'll put this together and then I'll colour this in. So let's put this card together.
have it that finishes both my cards for today i really hope you enjoyed this video and you can see how diff using different colors gives the cards a completely different look and you don't have to use them just with your cards you can use them with your 3d projects like these corners they look really nice on boxes etc so you can see the finishing touches does make a difference so if you're into your nouveau products or if you've got some definitely use them i wasn't going to use anything else here but um these amethyst squares i think they just it just needed a bit of sparkle and then because the purple and pinks um needed something else to kind of work together so i've added this color here which is a color in between pink and purple and I actually replaced that one i used and um, there's a few different sizes here so i went for a really large one but i've replaced it with a slightly um smaller one just so it matches these here and you can't really see but the um the carnation in the center is sparkling because i've used that um aquaflow beautiful beautiful um glitter gloss so it gives that beautiful um shimmer in there so um check out all the links below where you can find all these products that i've used and um, whether it's adhesives embellishments papers and of course your die set so that is it from me for today and um, once again thank you so much for stopping by and spending your time with me today i really hope i've inspired you to create something with your die sets so until next time take care and i will see you all very soon bye